And so guys, welcome to FC 25 and uh, what is the start of our United journey here and uh, well, first off, it's been a long time hasn't it? It has been a very, very long time since we have been doing this and uh, can I just say, excited for, for this, excited to be back doing this yet again and uh, of course with United and uh, with you guys as well and I uh, can't wait for the interaction as always as we go through this uh, long journey by the way it is a long journey seven seasons I am looking to do here with United so that's going to be incredible it's going to give us time to uh, you know mess around with uh, the young players that we have right now but also give us a chance to uh, play around with uh, the youth academy hopefully find one or two stars you know not, i'm not gonna go crazy but i do want to find one or two stars in the youth academy but um i've not really planned on what to say i'm just going at it right now and uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna be rusty i feel rusty because it has been it's been a few months i think um may april may since we were last here we are here again we are here again for a fresh start for us and uh, for the channel and before we get into things can i just say this menu all this stuff here in front of us looks really nice you've got that social media stuff on the right side uh, the athletic it looks really neat the menu looks neat pretty much pretty much you know similar stuff as you were before but you know just a yeah it's just, it's just nice it looks smart i like it i, I do like it and uh uh, uh, what I do want to show you is uh, we go over to uh, settings. I guess we can see what I've done. And uh, one thing I've just realised. So of course, that's before we get into that. <laughs> so excited! But uh, yeah, five minutes legendary. Nothing's changed. Uh, you can play youth tournaments, by the way. And uh, I've set it to uh, the lowest to uh, three minutes. Hopefully, we can uh, skip that. Might you know dip into it, but. Uh, don't want to focus too much playing with the youth. I want to find youth, but I don't want to play matches with the youth, uh, to say. But uh, going on, um, we've got a gameplay type simulation, and uh, this offers more of a, a realistic style of uh, gameplay. So I thought, yeah, that sounds good. And uh, we get some wind effects as well. So we'll, we shall see how that goes. Hopefully. Nothing too crazy like gale force. I don't want to see any gales out there playing with us. It's going to be absolutely mad. It's going to drive me mad. <laughs> but uh, it's going to be a laugh. It's going to be fun. And uh, here we go. This is the thing. Now, <laughs> I've seen in some people's career modes already um, where they disable the first transfer window. It disables the uh, transfer hub. And I thought that was an issue, but it's not. It's not, but I, what I've just realised though, even bigger, before you dive into this guys, is it gives you options. Disable first window, but it also has an option where it just says disable transfer window, where it just, yeah, you can't make signings at all in your career, so you're stuffed. So make sure you find disable first window, and then you're good to go for signings going onwards. But now, general settings, uh, we've got board expectations. You can set how strict you want them to be. Uh, I was very tempted to put, put it to strict, but lenient seems, you know, sort of like fair, where they still want you to do stuff, but they're going to be, yeah, just a little bit nicer as they were well, compared to how they were in the past. So hopefully they are a bit nicer. And uh, if I feel uh, I can go up. Uh, to uh, strict with them then uh, I will change that I'm always always up for a challenge and uh, but I thought let's go safe um, yeah no financial takeover European competitions of course uh, enabled we are in Europa League and uh, interested to see the new format how it goes for us here all right, so I want to, I just want to uh, check some stuff out, find my feet once again here, and uh, let's check through some of this stuff here on the main uh, central hub and uh, create tactical preset effects on the pitch, all that good stuff. And uh, oh, this is the uh, oh, this is okay. I remember now. Okay, so 
Yeah, I, got, I tell you what, I I feel like I, I was, you know, I stayed with a standard in the end. I tried all these things in FC24. Did not work. <laughs> did not work. And, uh, yeah, I think in the end I went standard. I did try wing play. Tick attacker is not my sort of play. Gagan pressing is not United's way. Pock the bus. No, thank you. Counter attack is sort of, you know, well, it is United with their pacey players. Not that one. Um, so I, I feel like I'm going to start standard, see how we go and uh, change it if we need to change it. But uh, from the get go, <laughs> leave it as it is. And uh, of course, we can uh, assign coaches as well. So new coaches have been assigned and uh, I didn't go crazy with them. I thought let's go sort of down the middle, three stars for everybody down the line. And uh, I like the names. We've got Daisy. We've got Ingrid, love it, Jesse, and uh, Freddie. So, I love that. He's got such a cool name, Freddie Stone. Sounds like a star. Jesse Foster, In Ingrid, I love Ingrid. And uh, Daisy, Daisy Horn. And uh, there we are. So, we are set to go with them. And uh, you know what, guys? I want to check out the squad. I want to, I want to look through the players, how they look. And uh, this is uh, one of the most exciting parts uh, at the start here before we do look at the players i mean we can sort of see them here but almost forgot training plans where you can uh, sort you know you can uh, sort out their fitness and sharpness almost forgot this and of course we are focused on getting their sharpness up and uh yeah i like this i do like this it's very easy to uh, control there is a, a way where you can do it automatically, where you can do automated plan. You can see at the top, but uh, I'd like to do it myself. Manage the team as uh, a manager should do. And uh, yes, everyone on the same training plan here, getting their sharpness. All right, so here we are. <laughs> Excited for this squad hub. And uh, well, we can uh, yeah, sort of like already decide who's going to stay, who's going to go by the end of this season. And uh, I can easily say Heaton will be gone by the end of this season when his contract ends. And uh, going down the list, we've got Onana, Bayinder, who I'm, you know, I'm happy with for the moment. I will give Onana all the chances he needs to prove himself. We sold him in FC24, an absolute disaster. But uh, I'm hoping for big improvements with him. And we've got a young goalkeeper out on loan in Vitek, who uh, seems pretty good, very tall, 20 years old. Shall keep an eye on him. As for left backs, we are good. <laughs> we are good on left backs. Three left backs. And uh, unlike in real life, Luke Shaw and Malassia are available injury free so far, dare I say. And uh, yeah, we've got uh, Amas, 17 years old. And uh, I talked about uh, using young players that we've got already. Amas is definitely one for the future. But there are some players who are not for the future. And uh, Evans is one of those. And uh, he'll be going at the end of uh, the season. Uh, Maguire, I, I tell you what. This is Maguire's. I'm not going to. Maguire's got a chance to uh, stay beyond the season. He's got to prove it. I know he's 31, but uh, he might be fun to use. We shall see. Uh, Lindelof might be... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. These two, very tough. But uh, Maguire, I'd like to give him a chance. Lindelof, Lindelof <laughs> may go because uh, we've got you know we've got some very good defenders now. We've got uh, Delet who joined us in the summer. He's 24, young, but also full of, full of uh, experience. As is uh, Martinez here. Where is he? I'm looking for him. Euro. There he is. This guy, 18. Again, one for the future. Maybe for now as well. So good. And dare I say, one of our strongest positions in the team is right back with the signing of this guy, Maswari, from uh, Bayern Munich as well. And uh, we've got him along with uh, Delo. So a battle for who starts in the team and I'm not sure <laughs> I was at uh, Masrari first and I've sort of gone back to a Delo I don't know now CDM has been boosted with the signing of uh, Ugarte from PSG of course 
but uh, behind him we've got Casemiro. Um, but uh, I tell you what, guys, I'll, I'll let you know now. Ugarte makes the first eleven. He's twenty-three, and uh, he's going to improve over time as well. Casemiro is thirty-two, and uh, his time with us is uh, getting close to the end. I would say. Um, yeah, probably should have left in the summer, but I guess uh, that was difficult to do. I don't know, but he's here. We'll use his experience and uh, he'll get game time, plenty of game time because there's lots of games in the, uh, you know, domestically and uh, Europa League as well. So we shall need him for this season, but a big decision after this season, what we do with him. But uh, Agate, excited to use. And of course, we've got Collier as well. 59 rated, 20 years old. I will give him all the chances he needs to improve so we can use him. And uh, oh, another CDM. <laughs> I thought it was a CM, not a CDM. Of course, it is the star. That, that is Kobe Mainu. 77 rated. Sorry, Kobe. Didn't see you there. How dare I not see you there? Should see you there. And uh, oh, well... Yeah, I guess Agati Mainu on the field. Oh, that, yes, that's tasty. But here's Bruno, our captain for the team. And uh, this guy, the heartbeat of the team as well. And uh, lots of pressure on his uh, shoulders. And uh, we'll be looking to him uh, on the field for a lot of things. To get the goals, to set up the goals. He's the heartbeat. He's just full of running, full of energy. Ne never gets injured. Dare I say that? And uh, you wait, first game injured for six months with an ACL. But hopefully not, Bruno. Hopefully not. We need you as uh, well. Also, we need Ahmad, who's in the final year of his contract. Oh, my goodness. That's something we need to do immediately. Can't let that happen. But, uh, yeah, Ahmad there with uh, Anthony. Uh, shall be interesting to use him. He's 77 rated, but he's 24 now. Um, so, yeah, we shall see what he can do on a rotation. So is Ahmad. But uh, for me, Ahmad is a starter. But I'm excited to uh, use this guy, Joshua Serkse, along with uh, Hoyland. These two, I mean, what a rotation this is. I don't care who starts or who plays. These two excite me. And that's what's most important. It's exciting players. These two are. And they can improve. Similar... Um, you know, rating 78 Hoyland, 79 Xerxes, and uh, both young 23 here, 21 Hoyland. Fantastic, can't wait. So, this is how the team looks at the moment, and uh, I have picked Ganacho uh, uh, ahead of uh, Rashi. And uh, well, you know, Ganacho 20 years old, 79 rated. And uh, Rashford, who's on the bench, 81 rated, and he is 26. And, uh, well, Ganacho, as we know, is going to be a beast. I would say a very youthful-looking uh, attack. And uh, also, just looking at I was just looking. The future is uh, pretty bright, and it's quite solid. It's sealed in cement, what have you. I just don't think this is going to change. I do believe these three will grow together alongside uh, two players behind them in Mainu and uh, Agato. So it's a young five there. And uh, I'm not mentioning Bruno because his future is uncertain. 29 years old may, at some point in a few seasons here with United, may look to uh, replace him. But I would say definitely, the, you know, the first two, possibly three seasons... He is going to be important, but we shall at some point have to look to uh, replace Bruno, which shall be quite difficult, but uh, exciting at the same time. But uh, in defence, uh, Luke Shaw does play. He is our first choice left back ahead of Malassia. I would say left back is a position where I want to bring someone else in. I do have an eye on a left back and does play in the Premier League. But he's young. <laughs> he's young, but exciting. Um, but yeah, we've got Martinez, uh, Delit as the uh, two pairing centre-backs. With Delo getting a nod ahead of uh, Masrari. Uh, yeah, he's got more pace. And uh, I like Masrari. 
but I trust in Delo still. And of course, big, big, big season ahead of uh, for uh, Anana. Really do hope he does well this time in FC25. And on the bench, we've got nine subs, <laughs> nine subs. So more options and uh, yeah, gives us a chance to put more players on there, of course. You know, like a full back like Maswari, who can play left back or right back. Great option. Euros on the bench with uh, Casemiro, Mount Eriksson, Anthony Rashi and Zuxe, of course. So a big chance for us to uh, rotate the team and keep players happy. And as you can see, I am playing a 4-3-3 holding formation. It's one of, well, it is my favourite formation. It's uh, done me well in the past. Hopefully it does me well this time again in FC25. But uh, here though, team tactics and play roles look a bit different and are slightly changed, but not difficult to uh, get used to. And uh, as, I, as I said, that's all, I, all I've changed is formation back to uh, the 4-3-3 the holding. But to everything else untouched. I'm not touching anything until I know what I need to change, you, you, you see. <laughs> we just go in. But uh, I knew what formation I wanted. But uh, play roles, do I press the right button? No, I don't. There we are. Uh, this I do like. Because uh, it's like before in the old FIFA games or FC24 play roles you you have many options for the player you click on like ganacho it gives you all these options this time it's more simple and uh, we've got ganacho on inside forward and if i click on edit you've got all these other options as well and it gives gives you a description of what it means like wide playmaker and uh, i think i had him on inside forward i did uh, so he can cut in have a shot at goal um, but it still holds, uh, the, you know, the what the width it still holds the width. Uh, Ahmad is on the same inside forward, Hoyland advanced forward, and uh, we're here in midfield. Though playmaker is Bruno. I've got Mainu box to box, which is uh, he's just it's just perfect for him. He's got an engine and uh, Ugarte holding, of course. Uh, with uh, our full backs pushing forward and uh, it gives you it gives you like an idea of where they go like the green areas <laughs> the main areas they're gonna go so I like that you got wing back and uh, you could go attacking wing back but I thought no not not no I don't want that <laughs> let's go a bit balanced where they do get forward but they are still very much focused on their defensive work so i like this change I, I do i love it so here we go our first game in fc25 is in the community shield and it's the perfect test isn't it from the get-go it is man city in this game in the community shield as you can see and uh <laughs> i'm excited but a bit nervy a bit nervy i do feel i'm gonna be a bit rusty but who knows we just may slot straight back into it and uh, cruise it but I don't know but uh, we are playing on legendary of course of course we do we don't change still um, yeah keep it on the same difficulty and uh, hopefully it still offers the same or similar challenge as FC24 did and uh, I did struggle um, now and then and uh, I do like it I do like the struggle I do and uh, hopefully <laughs> If there is a struggle, we can conquer as well. But anyway, anyway, let's not wait. We've waited long enough, have we not? Let's go. All right, here we go. No, um, nothing big at the start because uh, I'm saving the, the big stuff for the opening game of the league at home to Fulham and all my days. So feels weird already. Feels a bit heavy. A little bit heavy, but uh, it's a new game. It's a new feel, and uh, we shall get used to it. I just we just got to take our time, pass the board about, get used to things. And uh, I've got passing and stuff, all that, all that kind of stuff on manual, and uh, maybe we should have it on assisted because some passes are drifting away. I don't know, <laughs> but it's a, it's a steady start. I'm gonna play this. 
long, but uh, okay. <laughs> Prob probably should have it assisted. But anyway, here comes City. And uh, Holland, first shot. All right, come on, here we go. Mainu. Can we get our first attack here with uh, Ahmad Diallo? Oh, it's a bad tackle. It's a bad tackle. And uh, at least the yellow. Don't think it, it's a red, but it's Gavardio. What's it going to be? It is a red. <laughs> it is a red. Good turn. Ahmad Diallo doing his doing stuff at the start here. Getting Gavardio sent off. Well, drama already. Off goes Grealish. I think that's their new player, Savio, coming on. City down to 10 men. Advantage already to us. And uh, I'm just going to play this simple. All right, anyone down the middle? No, there isn't. So a man advantage. Now Luke Shaw, no one in the box. And it's pretty poor. Oh, great tackle. Yes, great tackle. Ugarte. <laughs> Showing what he can do already. Strong in attack, or strong in defence, rather. But here's Ahmad. There was a pass there for Hoyland. Overlap is nice. Back to Ahmad. And uh, there we, oh, that wasn't a shot. That was a cross. <laughs> Believe it or not. Here comes uh, City already. They're, they're in Holland. And this is where they're dangerous. It's a great save by Onana. Oh, space here in the middle. Mainu. Oh, bad touch. It's very slow right now. And on my days. <laughs> Rustiness. It is. But it is nil-nil. And uh, the, <laughs> the only bit of drama is that red card for City. But it is nil-nil, and that's the good thing so far. But no shots from us yet. Just thinking it'd be uh, amazing to see the difference when I turn on assisted for uh, passing and stuff. When we go into uh, the Fulham game, because it feels a little bit off. I may say so. But we'll... Chapeur, Sophia. Now the low. Ahmad. Oh, 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 it wasn't a bad ball. Hoyland almost got his uh, got got onto it. Very close. Don't control your defenders. <laughs> Not your centre backs. It's Holland again. No, no, he's off the post. Oh, <laughs> panic stations. City just passing this. Here, there, and everywhere. And uh, Onana is having an absolute storm of a game. Stopping everything so far. And I think it's the first corner of the game. City taking it short. Oh, Foden. Oh, what are we doing? No. No. Oh, Onana again. My goodness, and a chance to break. Ganacho, get off. Oh, it's too strong. Walker, who's quick as well. Thought that's our chance to counter. Mainu. Oh, Mainu does superbly well. Go. Go on, Ganacho, move. Uh, Hoyland. Oh, nice. Hoyland. Chance. Oh, dear. You can tell us. <laughs> you can tell. <laughs> I need to change the settings. Oh, that's so bad. But it is our first shot. I don't think subs will make a difference. <laughs> I really don't. Delete. Oh, he's strong, but he loses out. Probably still keep up, keep our shape. Oh no! Oh, no, no, again. He's had an absolute. <laughs> Unbelievable game, Onana. He has saved us so many times. And on oh my days, yes, I do. <laughs> I need to change their settings, man, before the film game because it is 
painful. All right, so penalties should not have a problem with penalties. Should be the same with tears. Bruno to step up and top corner staff. So penalties, no problem. Onana's had a great game so far. Dives it the correct way. Just a little bit too late. Now Hoyland, top corner again. Yes, clinical, clinical so far. De Bruyne. And uh, Onana should have saved it. Of all the saves he made, he should have saved that in this sleep. Oh, Ahmad. Oh, so, so good. So far, Onana. Oh, up against Edison. Oh, Edison's hit the bar. He's hit the Denver. And now, oh, Garte. Oh, yes. He's had a solid, solid debut, I have to say. And uh, this is it. This is it. We could win a community shield right here. Foden. Oh, Nana again. <laughs> oh, Nana again. And we win the community shield. Did not deserve it at all. Absolutely dominated from minute one to the last minute. But on penalties, anyone can win it. And we did. Unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable how we came away winning that community shield where we absolutely did not deserve it one bit. Well, we can actually thank Onana, can't we? He was awesome throughout that game. And in the penalty shootout, it had to be him to be the hero and uh, to help us lift that shield in the curtain raiser. Ready for this, the Premier League opening game for us at home to Fulham I can't wait and uh, yes again I have changed the settings passing shooting all that stuff is now assisted so interested to see uh, what that does for us hopefully helps us a little bit because we couldn't go on like that I can I just I can tell you we cannot go on like that that was uh, yeah it was a little bit painful but just wanted to show you here in the press conference because things are a little bit different somewhat when it comes to uh, player, uh, players' happiness in the team or in the squad. And, uh, well, you can see Bruno Fernandes, he's very happy, no problem. Where he is now on happiness is perfect. There's a little green bar on the right side. You don't want to go beyond it because apparently players can become complacent if they get too happy. They get complacent, they get too lazy. And therefore, you've got to try and upset them a little bit so they're not complacent. So with Bruno, we've got to be careful because he's just about there. I'm going to just downplay, see what that does. Stays as he is. <laughs> oh, does he goes up a little bit, but not too much. So you don't want to make them too happy, okay? Uh, Agata, again, is very happy. And uh, I will just downplay... And he stays pretty... Oh, no, it goes up a little bit. All oh, my days. Ooh. In the danger zone. And Ganacho. I mean, I could just show you for for example. So let's celebrate Ganacho. And see if he'll go into a complacent mode. Oh, not quite. Not quite. But uh, beyond where he is now, if he goes beyond that, he will become complacent. Apologies if you couldn't ask your question. Thank you very much. But here we go, the opening day of the Premier League and uh, we are back home at last. It is Old Trafford and uh, possibly under the floodlights, I would say. Yes, I think it is on a Friday night. Well, it says 8 p.m. So, of course, it's under the floodlights and uh, excited, keeping the team as it is for consistency. And uh, I do promise to bring players on this time in this game. I just felt... The community shield, how that played out. Any players that, that came on, it just wouldn't have made a single difference. And uh, this time, let's see what difference the game um, play will have because of uh, the changes we made. Uh, hopefully, to help us a little bit more. Uh, but anyway, here we go. Back at Old Trafford, guys. First league game back. And uh, also in FC25. 
Let's kick it. All right, here we go, let's go, and uh, let's see. Hopefully we do score today in opening play. Uh, excited to see who does score, and uh, already I can feel the difference. Yes, the changes we've made, that's better. We can pass the ball about a bit more smoothly, and uh, it is raining. <laughs> but we are in Manchester, should be no surprise. But guys, we are back doing this again. It feels good. Already won a piece of silverware. It does count the community shield. Let's add three points to that. And it will be the perfect start on our return. But it comes Fulham on the attack. Jimenez. Oh, it's a good spin. Bananas there again and again. And uh, then it mops it up. Struggling defensively. Ahmad. Oh, and the passing as well. For them, round the keeper. Oh, no, no, somehow grabbed it. <laughs> Who is this goalkeeper? Who is he? Who is this man? Unbelievable. Just everyone feels a little bit slow. But Delo, oh, there we go. We are, we are sprinting, aren't we? So we're jogging. And now we're sprinting. Okay. And uh, we get a corner. There we are. It just didn't feel like we were sprinting. When I was pressing hold down, holding down the button. That's what fell off. I just think I'm just not used to it. <laughs> and it's been a long time. It's been too long. And uh, corner kicks. Okay, we know how to do this. So, Come on, Bruno. Can we score from the corner? Oh, not like that. That's, that's crazy. And uh, oh, Onana again. How many times? How many? Too many times. We've said Onana again. Got to be more solid than that. Too open. And Mainu. Just need to calm it down. Just get some composure. But Bruno, oh, bad. Oh no, Ganacho is a bad first touch. Now it's Bruno. Gana oh, Ganacho. Ahmad out wide to a Delo cross in oh, I think it's going to be offside he is offside but it is a yellow card for that tackle on Ganacho. well two changes have been made and uh, big changes one at uh, left back Maswari comes on for Luke Shaw a bit more pace is needed that side and uh, Xerxes is on for his uh, home debut in place of uh, Hoyland, so hopefully it can spark something for us. But we've got to focus here. Fulham, great tackle. Agati again. Circus in space, wants it. Wants to give it back. Ahmad. No support, though, in the box. Mainu, this is better. And uh, into uh, Circe. Oh, I tried to take it quickly. 
That was better, though. Ahmad, go. Xerxes, over the top. Just so slow to move. <laughs> we do. It does feel really slow. It could be just me. I don't know. And, uh, oh, oh, yes! <laughs> oh, what a ball! It's Xerxes! It wasn't meant for him. It wasn't meant for Xerxes. I can be honest, it wasn't meant for him, but we'll take it all day long. It looks like a great ball. But it is a great finish. And that is our first goal. And it's from the new boy in FC25. We're up and running. I think it's just about <laughs> controlling this now. And uh, very much the same as in real life against Fulham. 1-0. And Xerxes scoring as well. Would you believe it? Just just realised. The exact same scoreline and scorer to win us the game. This is perfect. And uh, that pass wasn't. Four minutes. No, and they come again. Come on. And a great tackle. No, given away again. We're panicking. Everyone's fighting. Referee. No. No. You're kidding me, dude. It's not the exact same scoreline. Fulham would say that's what they deserve a point. Probably they do. Ah, oh, but to concede right there. So painful. But we just couldn't, just won't, was not composed enough with the ball. Just needed to uh, keep hold of it. And as soon as we kick off, he's going to blow his darn whistle. And he does. And it's not Cirque the, the winner. It's a shame. It is a shame. But it's early days. Can't get too upset. But it would have been perfect. It would have been a confidence booster going into the next game in the next episode. But uh, there we are. <laughs> it ends 1-1, dude. So there we go, guys. And, uh, well, can't lie. Still pretty gutted about that. Should have won it. But we lost our focus and concentration. And uh, I would say composure as well. We had the ball. And uh, I just don't know. Should have just kept it. Just keep it. Be composed. Be calm. And we won't calm. Just panicked. <laughs> we just got very panicky towards the end. And uh, it did cost us the win. But I guess looking back at the whole game. Fulham probably feel they deserved the point. But you know what? It's early days. We beat City on the pen on penalties to win the Community Shield. Just got, got a point in our first game of the league. Can't be too upset about that. Something to build on. But, uh, of course, lots to work on, lots to uh, improve. But before we do go, even after one game, <laughs> let's look at the table. And uh, some teams have already played two games. And uh, Chelsea have won and lost the game. But it is uh, Bournemouth, <laughs> two out of two, making the, the you know, a very good start. City won the opening game. So did Arsenal. And so did uh, Ipswich. They beat uh, Liverpool. No way, dude. Well, that makes me feel a whole lot better then. Liverpool losing to uh, Ipswich. The uh, new uh, the promoted team, uh, Ipswich. That's, uh, that's awesome stuff. But when we come back, it's a tough one. A way to Brighton. But uh, it's good to be back. It really is. It's been too long. And uh, this time we stay. We don't go. We stay. That's what we do. And uh, we come back next episode, hopefully, getting our first win of FC25 with United. But anyway, guys, anyway, I shall leave it there. And uh, you know, you do. You always know, as always. Thank you so much for watching. And I shall see you for the next one. Take it easy.